Well, the uh, Finance Committee in uh, order at 6.02 p.m. Start with the roll call. Alderman Clinker. Here. Alderman Pilato. Alderman Downey is here. Alderman Alexander and Alderman Johnson are absent. Uh, citizen comments, concerns? Would anyone like to address the, the committee? Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, Dave Johnson, 2520 Union. Uh, this is actually my first finance committee meeting, but just thought I'd uh, take okay. the opportunity to say uh, a couple matters that are certainly important to me thinking about the long term would be hearing more about uh, a long-term plan to bring the police and fire pension funds up to a higher uh, funded ratio. And uh, somewhat related to that would be uh, development of a, we'll say 10 to 15 year uh, plan on the roads and uh, you know what is the funding need, what is the funding gap, and being able to communicate that clearly to the public. Because I look at the budget and I know what the stuff costs and I mean there's clearly not enough money to do what people expect to be done but um, I think I think the numbers are all there and could be put together in a way that could be communicated to folks um, to convey that it's uh, you know if we're gonna get what we pay for in terms of uh, the condition of the streets so that's all thanks sure thank you anything else no all right moving on uh, first up we have payroll uh, for this pay period which ended uh, February 21st, uh, 2020, in the amount of $349,307.00. And as I usually preface, uh, I'm not a full-time employee with the city, so I'll do my best to, to answer any questions regarding the payroll. Second. All right, there's a motion by Alderman Bellotto, second by Alderman Clinker. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All righty. Um, so moving along, uh, we have the accounts payable. Again, I'll do my best. I have the folder here, and I will do my best to try and answer <coughs> whatever questions the committee does have. So I will open uh, the floor to uh, floor to, to questions. I guess we'll just start with how much it's going to cost this time. It's uh, $630,308 and, and three cents. So, okay, any questions? I'm going to stick with my questions about the phone service. We still don't have answers on that. Um, you know, AT&T, there's 19309.43. I'm not saying don't pay it. I'm just saying we, we still need answers. Sure. Um, AT&T long distance is 8245. And then somewhere back further is another long distance hmm. bill. I don't remember where it's at. It's back further in the packet. Yeah. And, you know, we still don't have answers. We asked numerous times. Right. Um, so that needs to be addressed still. Um, <clears throat> a couple questions on, and I don't know if you know this or not, but Kale City Plumbing. Sure. On page four. Okay. Accident, fire hydrant hit, uh, $8,758.37. Is that a reimbursable thing? Do we know anything about that? Who hit it? Who's responsible for it? Or I, is it something a hit and run? We're, we're paying for it, or that, I'm saying. Have you seen any claims, Carrie? I just got the uh, claims file from uh, Agent and Public Works. There was a. He would like you to use the microphone, Carrie. Okay. <coughs> Alderman, I just received the claims file from Public Works and uh, HR, and that was an accident. Uh, somebody ran a person off the road. And they ran over a, a this part of the. They ran over a sign and a fire hydrant. The, as far as I can tell, the owner of the car was not driving the car, but the owner, there was insurance. So we're going to file a claim with the insurance company. But apparently that was what it cost to replace the uh, okay. fire hydrant itself and, and the sign. Okay, then I'll just follow up with that at a future meeting think, to see if we are. I think Public paper. Works uh, Superintendent uh, Postaro signed off. On the copy I saw, he signed off <coughs> with um, Calumet Plumbing. I, I don't know if it's been presented to you yet. Okay. Thanks, Gary. Thank you. Um, same, same question with CDW government, with the general government computers. I've, I asked again, I asked Paul 
for those. So if you want to, if you want to pull those again, yep. I, 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 yeah, asked, I get I, that. I, oh no, I get that. I, I, maybe we should not pay his bill until he gives us an answer. That was my next if suggestion. That's, if you want to do that too, I'm. You know, I'm I mean, fine we've asked for that. months for this guy to come here and explain to us what's up with the phone bills. We've asked for months what's up with these computers and why we have 12 computers and where they're at. Sure. And we can't get an answer. Meanwhile, we're not paying CDW government when they've they've pr apparently provided them. Um, I, I don't know what it takes to get Paradigm here to, to answer our questions. Sure. So we'll remove <coughs> we'll remove CDW and then we'll remove Parrot. CDW we're removing for seven thousand two hundred ninety dollars because again we're waiting for further contact and then. And Paradigm's bill is November. Um, is there any reason why we're we're getting November's bill in February? I don't know. With my questions on to Paul with this, I'll. I'll yeah, ask why why we 10. have so far behind because I know when Alderman Blotto did ask in December for all outstanding invoices to be to yeah. be paid. Um, so I, I'm no, we're paying six thousand four hundred thirty nine dollars for a monthly maintenance fee. You should be able to answer our questions when we ask them. Sure. And the other ones that I think just need to be tracked once again are the the reimbursables for um, EMA for the uh, Scott Pronger and. Bill Classens, mm -hmm. they did, you know, filming uh, Fargo shoot CPD, sure. Chicago PD shoot. But we just need to make sure that that money's coming back in. Okay. Um, and that's all I have. <coughs> Let me just write, write these notes down really quick so I can keep caught up. All right. Just one second. Yeah. Okay. Brad, did you have anything? No. I'm good. All right, so the new amount, we're moving, again, we're moving CDW and Paradigm, uh, which comes to a total of $13,729.66. So the new amount is going to be... New amount is going to be six hundred and sixteen thousand five hundred seventy-eight dollars and thirty-seven cents. Motion. motion by Alderman Bellato. Second. Second by Alderman Clinker. Uh, there's motion and second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 The ayes have it. Motion carries. Um, so on here, I know we have the appropriation ordinance. Uh, it's still, I know we're still working with the treasurer and Dave Myers, and we're going to have a special meeting next Monday to discuss the the appropriation and vote on the appropriation. So it should be ready to go with a 10-day cure period for the March 24th city council meeting. Are there any questions? I know if you have any suggestions, there was a an appropriation <clears throat> packet provided. Uh, I should hopefully have. The one that I've been working with Dave and my questions provided to everybody uh, Friday. But if you do have anything, definitely feel free to. Six o'clock on the. Yeah, six o'clock. Can six o'clock next Monday work for you, Alderman Alexander, to do uh, our okay. next Monday at 6 p.m.? Alexander all right um, any Alderman concerns I know so just a really quick uh, Alderman Alexander just to catch you up we uh, proof payroll accounts payable we pulled CDW and paradigm against because we haven't got a response from from paradigm about CDW and there's just some outstanding questions with paradigm so that was what we agreed to um, besides everything else got approved uh, appropriations we're gonna do next Monday at 6 are there any concerns, comments from members of the committee? Can I address just briefly? Sure, go ahead. Carrie. Um, I, I don't think you were at the city council meeting, but I, I informed the city council the ordinance that the city passed in August, the uh, municipal gas tax ordinance, has to be re, uh, re adopt a new one has to be adopted to conform with the new legislation. Okay. And the old one has to be rescinded. If you could put that on your special meeting agenda, For it next should Monday? only take five minutes to explain. Sure. It's, it's the same tax. The three cents. But this will this the new legislation allows 
specifically allows the Department of Revenue to collect it for the city and then remit it. So the other one was a question whether that could happen. Right. That's I remember reading revenue was having some yeah. issues interpreting. So, okay. I'll, um, if you wouldn't mind. I'll, yeah, if you could, and you could just send it. I know you sent it. Uh, sure. Oh, great. Thank you. All right. Any comments, concerns? No? That's great. That is Great. Yeah, great crowd, great entertainment, great speakers. It was great. Good. Great Good. What was your favorite part of the, the event? I think the guest speaker, um, Troy Hutchison. Oh, the, the pot czar. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? That's it. All right. Anything else? Anyone else got anything? All right. Happy Super Motivating Monday to everybody, and we'll see everyone next Monday. <laughs> Thank you. Meeting adjourn uh, motion to adjourn the meeting. Motion by Alderman Blotto, second. second by Alderman Alexander. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Breaking all the records. That was a we quick started one. five minutes late, too.